Hello! Welcome to Elocution from Midwinter Tuition. Today we are going to start from scratch. We are going to go right back to the beginning of our vocal journeys and we are going to look at breathing. And I can't tell you how important I think breathing is in terms of making a really positive change towards your voice. So if 2016 is the year that you've decided, right, I'm going to sort my voice out, I'm going to practice, then follow this podcast and follow my YouTube channel as well and we'll work together. We'll try and really start from the very basics and work our way forward. So we're starting in January with the voice and it's so important to breathe and breathe and breathe. But it's not as easy as people think. We take it for granted because we do it every day. We do it involuntarily and, you know, sometimes we have problems with our breathing. I have asthma, so in the winter I'm more susceptible to, you know, chest infections and things. But actually, since I've been really working my voice, my chest and my throat and my voice have been much healthier. And I really think that's down to the, the positive exercise and choice that I make. So it sounds obvious, but let's think about our posture. Let's make sure that our back is relatively straight. Now, we don't want to feel like a primary school child in assembly because that creates tension. We just want each vertebrae on top of the other in a nice straight column to support the rib cage, to support the lungs. Whilst your back is straight, you need to try and keep your head level if you can. Now, if, if you're at the moment you're looking down at the computer screen, just lift up your chin a little so that you can really allow that space. Now I've got to clear my throat. <coughs> so my head is level and my back is straight. And I'm going to try and encourage you now to relax your jaw. You might end up sitting with your mouth slightly open for this to be relaxed. And that is fine. So with our straight back and our head nicely forward and our jaw relaxed, just make sure that your shoulders are not creeping up. Remember to keep those nice and relaxed too. Whether you are sitting or standing, those ways of checking your posture will be fine. Now to start the breathing exercises. Of course, we need to breathe in. And of course, we need to breathe out, breathe out. The question is, how do we do it efficiently and why do we do it this way? We breathe in through the nose whenever we can. When we are doing breathing exercises, we breathe in through the nose whenever we can. Going all the way back to prehistoric man, caveman, however you would like to classify it. Human beings breathe in through the nose when they are at rest. They naturally breathe in through the nose when they are relaxed. So breathing in through the nose plays a little psychological trick on your brain and says, hey, this person is very chilled. Let's encourage that relaxation. So always breathe in through your nose and then just allow the breath to be expelled through the mouth. That's where the voice is going to come out. So that's where the breath needs to come out. So breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. And do that while I'm speaking now, if you like, because there's never a better time to practice than right now. Once you've done a few deep breaths in and out through your nose, it's time to get the body a little bit more involved. The first one, the first way to get the body more involved in the breathing is to give yourself a hug. Now, if you wrap your arms around yourself and hold your shoulders with your hands, it really stretches out the back 
and so the back of the rib cage opens up and if you breathe in whilst hugging yourself you'll feel that the back of the lungs really opens up and you'll be able to really breathe into your back and open up that rib cage when you release the arms you might find that the shoulders feel even more relaxed so it's a double positive if that exists as a phrase Another great way to involve the body is to really stretch. I like to stretch upwards with my arms when I'm breathing in and gently bring them down to my side when I'm breathing out. You can also just raise your arms up forwards in front of you to shoulder height and then down again as you breathe out. Let's do that. So stretch up and relax the arms down to the side. And now let's try raising them to shoulder height raise and relax the next way that we can practice releasing tension and involving the body in our breathing is to count now you can count as you breathe out and you can count as you breathe in but counting as you breathe out is probably more efficient so you breathe in, one, two, three, four, five, six, like that. Then you try again and you try and get past six. You try to get to eight. Then you try to get to ten. You keep going with this exercise, practicing it whenever you can. And you'll probably find that you can quite easily double that number and double how much how many numbers you can count to as you are breathing out and we're also there activating the voice so it's a great exercise for first thing in the morning that counting can also be done to measure capacity now of course this is not scientifically accurate so don't go and quote this number to your doctor this is just for yourself criticism if you like so you can take a deep breath in use the second hand on a clock or use a metronome and what you then do is write it down on your calendar the maximum number you can get to comfortably how do you know when you're not comfortable anymore the best way is to try and recognize when the support is going you might feel a slight pulling down on the spine you might feel that your shoulders start to curl inwards and you kind of collapse on yourself. That's when to stop because the support has gone. And then take a deep breath and try again. So that's how we can measure capacity. By counting out loud as we breathe out. Using the second hand on a clock or using a metronome. And that's a really great way to measure capacity. So with those four steps, the good posture, the breathing in through the nose and the out through the mouth, releasing tension by involving the body and counting your breath out, you will have made a very positive step towards a new voice. If you then feel like you want to move on to elocution lessons, do book yourself in with me at midwintertuition.co.uk. I can teach over Skype and Google Hangout. I'm available during the daytime, so I can work during your lunch hour, during your break time, and you can have a half hour lesson with me or an hour. You can pay online as well, so it's all very convenient. And you can take one lesson or six lessons. It's up to you. Do write comments underneath the video so I know whether this works, whether it's useful or not. And next time, we will be working on warming up the voice. So I shall look forward to working with you then. Have a great day. Don't forget to leave a comment. Bye-bye.